All right, one of the biochemist's most important tools is the micropipette. So there's a bunch of different types of these, and yeah, you can, you can get a whole bunch of different ones, but basic, these allow you to transfer different volumes, usually pretty small volumes, of your reagents and do your biochemical reactions. So the most basic that you can get is basically a 0.5 to 10 microliter pipette, a 10 microliter to 100 microliter pipette, and then a 100 microliter to 1000 microliter pipette. And that allows you to pretty much get the entire range of volumes that you'd be working with. Um, so there's probably lots of other videos showing you how to operate these, but um, basic level you can see here is the amount of volume that you'll be working with. Let's see if we can focus that. There we go. Um, so in this case, it would be two microliters. You can change the dial in here, and that will change the volume. Um, you don't want to go below or above the level that's indicated on the pipette because then you can either uh, pull up liquid basically into the pipette and it'll damage it. Um, or if you have too little, it just won't really pull up any volume. Um, so yeah, you can see there's different numbers of gradation on this sometimes. Um, so you'll have to make sure that you know, the last digit isn't a decimal. Um, and that'll just depend on your pipette that you're using in particular. And that's pretty much it. Um, you need pipette tips to go along with it, but um, you can find those pretty easily, just making sure that they correspond to whichever volume range you have, and then you should be all set.